Today I'm going to take you on an adventure to the Statue of Liberty. It is one of America's number one national monuments and I just happen to live in New York City and see it every single day on my commute to work. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to be a tourist and I'm going to go. I've actually been to the Statue of Liberty when I was a little, little kid, but it was like just after 9-11, so you weren't really allowed to like touch it or go in it. So now... Things have changed and I purchased the tickets to go up to the pedestal. So I wanna see I wanna see what it looks like from that point of view and just to climb inside of the Statue of Liberty, which is a lot of steps, let me tell you. So enjoy this video as I take you on an adventure. This is one of my favorite things about New York City is this is popping up everywhere. All these silent dance parties. Everyone just dancing. And from the outside looking in, it looks like they're dancing to nothing. But they all have headphones on and they're dancing to the same thing. I think it's genius. What a great way to get everybody dancing. Quick pointers, if you are visiting New York City, you're gonna wanna find yourself at Battery Park, which is where the Statue City Cruises are. This is where you will board to go to Liberty Island from the New York City side. There are options on the New Jersey side, but those are separate. So if you're in New York City, you're most likely gonna board from here to get to either Liberty Island or Ellis Island. You can do both or just one. You can sign up for different things. You're gonna find yourself going through this security checkpoint. Um, it's you're basically just walking through metal detectors to make sure that you're not carrying anything you shouldn't have. They do have some protocols going on right now for the current health situation that could change when you visit, I'm not sure, but right now masks are required when you're indoors at least and when you're on the boat and all that kind of stuff. So just be aware of that. Um, and other than that, it's just, it's easy going. It's easy going, you just follow along and do the touristy thing you were meant to do. Once on board the boat, there's plenty to do. They have like a little snack bar. So if you didn't pack anything or you need water or chips or whatever, they have that for you here. Otherwise, there's plenty of space to spread out and enjoy the ride on over to the Statue of Liberty. I actually thought this was a very, very peaceful day. And my mom came along with me. She came to visit town during this time. So it was fun to have a partner to come with me. Usually I'm all by myself out here. So it was fun to have somebody with me and enjoying the nice view of my new city. Also, preparation note, if you are as pale as me, you definitely want to pack on that sunscreen because your girl got burnt. Yes, I put some on before I went, but it was not enough because you were on the middle of an island with like barely any protection and the boat ride alone, 
you're just exposed if especially if you want to be on top and actually like see everything um yeah your girl got burnt so wear your sunscreen it is important once you get on the island if you're walking to the statue you're going to pass these little shops and little restaurants so if you need a snack or some water or something or food or whatever they got you covered it's probably gonna be pricey but they got you covered I was super excited to come here mainly just because the feeling you get here especially like as an american that's born here like i maybe it's just me but i've always kind of wondered like what my great grandparents thought or felt when they first came here like actually almost all my grandparents came through this area and came to ellis island so i kind of always wondered like what what what, what was going through their heads when they were coming here like were they sad to leave their home countries were they excited for new beginnings when they saw the Statue of Liberty, what was their first feelings like? Those are just things that I that are always in the back of my head. And, you know, being here, I feel like maybe you get to sense what they felt. Note, the crown is no longer open ever since, you know, the events that happened back in 2001, but the pedestal is now open, so you can go up there. When I was little, it was not, but now it is. And mostly, most people try to take the elevator up, but it only has room for like four people in it, so I decided to climb the stairs, which was no joke. Honestly, now that I'm a New Yorker, I was like, oh, it'll be easy. I walk and climb stairs all the time. It'll be nothing. But it's 176 steps to the top of the pedestal, which I kind of just flew right up them. But once I got to the top, I was like about to pass that. I was like, oh my God, oh Lord help me. My mom decided to wait for the elevator but then later decided to climb the stairs because the line was not moving so if you're coming here and you're physically capable to climb the stairs i suggest you do because the elevator literally only lets like four people in at a time and i'm kind of a claustrophobic person i don't know about you but yeah i just feel like the elevator is not worth it like if you really really can't make it to the top without the elevator then go ahead and wait but if you can i suggest just hike to the top and honestly it is well worth the climb i 100 percent support the climb my next mission was to find a spot alone while i waited for my mom to get a nice point of view of both the city and the statue and to get me some of them gram shots
able to make some friends while waiting for my mom. I was trying to prop my phone up against like the corner of the pedestal and these girls were like, wait, let me put it on my foot. Then you can see the whole thing better and then you do the same for me. We were like, cool, let's do it. And it, it worked. I was getting the Marilyn Monroe vibes with this wind and Mama T made it just in time to take some pics with me. Through the next few slides, you will see some of the beautiful pictures my mama and I were taken. We took some together, took some selfies. It was a grand old time. You know, when me and my mom get together, we are going to be taking pictures every second of every day. I don't know why, but my mama's raised me this way. She's like, you know what? You gotta live your life and you gotta capture your life. You never know. You're gonna miss these times. You're gonna want pictures to remember these times. So take them pictures. Who cares if people think you look conceited or whatever taking selfies? You know what? It's you having a good time. So enjoy your time. Do what you will with your time. So if I wanna take selfies, I'm gonna take some selfies. You heard? After hanging out on the statue for what felt like forever, we decided to head back down and hang out a little bit more on the island as we had some time to kill before the boat was about to leave so we figured why not rest a little bit. And this grass felt amazing. It had beautiful views of the city and the statue and it's just a really nice place to hang out. Plus I was already burnt so I was trying to catch some shade but didn't do too well of a job at that. But the nice thing about this island is if you wanted to come to Liberty Island and see the Statue of Liberty without spending a bunch of money to like go up into the pedestal, you can just walk around way cheaper without paying the extra for the tickets and you get a really great experience, especially on a beautiful day like this. After walking around a bit, getting a snow cone and relaxing, it was time to get back on board as we were preparing to set sail back to Manhattan to Battery Park. So yeah, it, overall it was a great experience. I think everybody, when you come to New York City, you need to do this at least once, and especially for New Yorkers. I feel like, like we, we neglect the touristy things out here because it's just like, oh, tourists suck, but no, like, enjoy your city it's beautiful for a reason people want to come here for a reason so get out there and have some fun why not let's toast Huge shout out to Statue City Cruises. This is not sponsored, but hey, 
Listen, I would love to do a sponsored video of this and come back anytime. It was a true pleasure. So yeah, if you're ever in New York City, hit up Statue City Cruises. Well, but that is it for today's adventure. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up and comment below what you enjoyed about this episode. I would love to hear from you guys. If you have any suggestions of what you would like to see in the next vlog, please, 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 please don't hesitate to let me know. Your guys' feedback really helps me and this channel and helps give you all the content you want to see. If you want to see more travel content, more New York City content from a tourism perspective as well as a local's perspective of what it's really like to live here, let me know. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next one. I love you. Bye-bye.